everyone, it's Amadur, and I'm here with another project for Pixie Dust Designs. And this time, I wanted to make a simple little card. What, what I did was I used um, the largest and the second to largest of the stitched rectangle slimline dies to make a card that actually folds down and pops up. But it also fits in, and if I lost my envelope here, it also fits in um, using the slimline die into an A2 size envelope. Ah! So, of course, I used the Let's Eat Cake die to make it a shaker. And for the sentiment, I used the It's Your Birthday stamp set. So, it's basically like that. Here is the full length of the die. And it pops up to snag, if I can get it, to snag on that. And then it stands like this. So, it's a little pop-up card. Um, I'm sure if you guys remember the ones that had, like, two more pieces and whatnot. But this was just a lot easier. And I, it gets to pop up and stand up. So super cute. I like it. I went ahead and did the numbers in gold just because you can totally mess with your friend. Doesn't matter how they how old they are. Tell them they're 100. It'll totally shock them. And it'll be funny for you. So let's go ahead and make this. And so here we go. I went ahead and die cut the largest of the stitch rectangle dies and I'm scoring it at four and a quarter and six. So I'm able to make the fold on it and this is going to serve as the base of my card. And I will go ahead and I score it. I just fold it underneath itself and this is how it's going to work. I then cut the second to the last of the die cuts of the stitch rectangle to fit to the front portion of it. I just wanted to make it sturdy. I cut it to fit the sections of the top and the bottom. So it has the medium, the middle section to move around instead of gluing them both together and then scoring it down. I did um, make it go to the edge a little bit. So I just cut off that little piece where that it was hanging off, the little cliff hanger right there. But I went ahead and put them down and I like the contrast of color so you can see it. And this is basically how it's going to stand up. Then I went ahead and grabbed the new Birthday Wish stamp set and I stamped it three times. What I meant to do was stamp it and then cut it out three times. And um, this is this worked right away. I was able to get them right into that little piece that I, I was practicing with other pieces that I had cut out. And this is just a scrap piece of white paper that I had, white car sock that I had. I am fussy cutting it here, but in retrospect, once I was done, it's probably best to die cut it and layer it a couple of times so it has a little bit more thickness and more sturdiness. Um, after a couple of times of playing with this card, it kind of did not want to stay at attention as well as I would have liked it to. Now, I'm going ahead and making the shaker of the cake from the birthday cake die set and I die cut the clear acetate and I'm layering these front sections in pink up front. I had to cut the top part because these were meant mostly to go with the overlapping uh, icing drip but I wanted to just to do this and use it as a shaker card and I went ahead and added all three pieces just to to get it going um, because I wanted it to look more like a shaker card. And here I am on the back side. You can see it here. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, cutting the dimensional foam. I layered this. I think um, this was double layered, double layer foam. It was just some pieces that I have. I do save them because it, this stuff is not cheap to use in future projects. So here I am just adding it to the side, to the bottom. And I want every layer to have its own section. So all of the sequins and all of that stuff doesn't just fall all the way to the bottom of a large of a three layer cake and this way each layer has their own uh their own um shaker bits why why not i mean hello and on the left hand you can see the other print with these cute little flowers just all over it that are going to serve as the base of the cake but of course, you know, as always, my dimensional cards, the biggest pain in the butt are is the, the foam. <laughs> the dimensional foam because you have to cut it, you have to duplicate it, cut it, and then, I mean, multiple layers of it. Cut it, lay it, and then you still have to scrape off the the little pieces to get it to... Um, 
to be ready for you to add all of your stuff. Now, I went ahead and I did all of this. If you can see with my glue gun, I realized that I was just distracted. Who knows what I was doing? Probably fighting with Coco or something. And I realized that my foam pieces did not touch completely like you want them to. You want them to be nice and tight so your sequins and your pearls or whatever it is that you use does not fall out. So I decided, this is the first time I ever tried this, I decided to seal those gaps with a hot glue gun. I mean, whoever's getting this, no one's going to notice. This is going to be like on the back, on the sides of the whole thing. So I lay down the base. Here I am adding the sequins. Now this sequin mix I've had for quite some time. I don't even know if it's available. Um, I think it's from Whimsy Saps. I can't remember, but I always, always, always want to use clear iridescent sequins that way if you don't have a lot of whatever you're working with with the clear sequins it takes on the colors of your project so it reflects off the colors at least so it works super super well but here i am at taking off the backings of course like i said the bane of my existence the backings for these um dimensional cards for these dimensional accents i mean with the foam and i just go ahead and layer it that lay it down press it. I try not to move it to keep all the sequins in the sections where they are going to go separately as opposed to, like I said, one big pile of sequins. But here it is. And here I'm just checking to see how far I need to put it, where I need to put the actual part of, I mean, the actual cake with the card. And so I can position the uh, piece that actually keeps it, the happy birthday that keeps it from, um, I'm sorry, birthday wishes stamp set, stamped uh, sentiment. Oh my goodness, words that keep it from um, falling back. But here I am just adding everything. Again, I like to use wet glue. It actually tends to work better and it really, really makes sure that your papers stick. But here I am uh, testing. As you can see, it totally stands up. And then I'm going to add the hundreds. Like I said, give it to your friend. Even it doesn't matter if they're 21 or 75 or 82. They'll be very not happy that you gave them a card that says 100. And then just laugh because it's funny to mess with your friends. Why not? And here I am just adding the flame. I cut the whole thing first. The main layer was out of gold foil paper that I just had in my craft room. And then I am adding the yellow and orange flame parts. So it just gives it, give it a, a different, uh, different look so it's not all gold. But I do love those uh, gold-dipped candles on birthday cakes. I think they're super, super cute. And that's kind of what I wanted to go for. So hopefully it, uh, it read like that in the pictures or in the project. And of course, as per usual, what else? Put more dimensional foam on <laughs> some more foam on my letters. And I had to, I mean, on the numbers, I had to use such tiny, tiny little, little pieces on the back of one so it would actually work. Because it was, um, oh no, here I, here I am trying to add the flames. I don't know what I was thinking earlier. Um, I wanted to layer them in yellow and orange. And they're just super cute. I just ran it multiple times fra through the, the Big Shot machine. And it cut everything pretty well and pretty easily. But this is it. I'm pretty much done assembling this card. Make sure that you guys are checking out the Pixie Dust Design store. By the time this video is released or posted, the February release will already be out and you're able to get this uh, birthday cake die set, the, the birthday wishes stamp set, and so many others along with the other projects that I have created. So thank you guys for stopping by and I will see you guys in the next project.